Okay, so good afternoon. Welcome to today's, press to today's press conference. Today, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation and the U.S. Agency for International Development are launching a partnership with Women's World Banking Asset Management that will empower women across developing markets. First, Acting President and CEO of OPIC, David Bohingen, will briefly give some opening remarks followed by Deputy Administrator of USAID, Bonnie Glick. Mr. Bohegan assumed the role as Acting President and CEO of OPIC in March 2019. Previously, Mr. Bohegan had been appointed by President Donald J. Trump to serve as the Executive Vice President of OPIC when he joined the agency in August 2017. Deputy Administrator Glick was most recently the Deputy Secretary of the Maryland State Department of Aging. Prior to that, she worked in the private sector at IBM in a variety of senior leadership positions. She's come to USAID to leverage her background as USAID confronts 21st century developments ch challenges around the world. Following their statements, we will briefly take questions. First, let me give the floor to Acting President and CEO Bohingen. Thank you, I'm really, really delighted to be here today. The Global Entrepreneurial Summit brings together entrepreneurs and business leaders as well as government leaders from all over the world. The United States is proud to sponsor it and you couldn't think of a better location than the Netherlands. We've got such a long-standing partnership of almost 400 years, one of the most entrepreneurial countries in the world and really an example for many of us on uh, competitiveness and, and economic growth and also in empowerment of women. This morning we heard from the Queen and several ministers in the, and at the conference, really the global role of leadership for women was really highlighted. And so that's why we are excited today with USAID and Deputy Administrator Bonnie Glick to be able to announce, I think, a really catalytic investment in women through Women's World Banking. This, this blended finance with USAID working together with $500,000 as well as OPIC with uh, intent to invest $25 million really has an opportunity to allow women to be able to access credit, to be able to develop their own loans, to be able to really break the cycle of poverty. And that's tremendously exciting because as we invest in women and as they invest in their families, we invest in better societies together. And the Overseas Private Investment Corporation has been investing in emerging markets for almost 50 years. We have a $24 billion portfolio across private equity, across political risk insurance, and across project finance, and everything from housing to healthcare to infrastructure to venture capital supporting entrepreneurs. And so the ability to invest in women is something that we've really focused on in the last two years through our 2X initiative, which is meant to catalyze capital that ensures that women own, women manage, and women empowering businesses really get the benefit of being part of an inclusive global economy. Because one thing that we've learned is that when a woman earns a dollar, she puts 90 cents back into her family. A man only puts 30 cents back into his family. So this truly is with Women World Banking and providing the credit and the, and the capital that women need, we think a really catalytic investment and also shows the strong partnership that we have with USAID and I'm really thrilled to be a part of this today. So thank you and I'll introduce Deputy Administrator Bonnie Glick. Thank you so much, David. Today, I'm proud to announce that the United States Agency for International Development is joining with the Overseas Private Investment Cor Corporation in supporting the Women's World Banking Asset Management Blended Finance Fund to empower women in emerging and frontier markets. It was particularly enjoyable last night to spend some time with the leadership of the Women's World Banking uh, where we made an informal announcement, and today we'll make the announcement much more formally. 
The fund is projected to raise $100 million to expand women's access to financial services. The blended finance vehicle is designed to attract private capital in developing markets by offering protection to commercial investors and lowering the risk of loss. The fund will lead to increased financial inclusion for low-income women in Africa, the Middle East, and the Indo-Pacific region. More women will have access to loans, develop credit, build their savings, and purchase insurance, which are all critical to breaking the poverty cycle and promoting self-reliance. USAID will provide $500,000 in uh, catalytic funding and $100,000 in technical assistance. The technical assistance will expand due diligence capabilities around digital financial services and enable better assessments of financial institutions' digital strategies, which are critical to expand the reach of their products and services to low-income women. USAID is rethinking how international development initiatives are designed, tested, and rolled out, and we're embracing the creativity and entrepreneurship that only the private sector can bring to the table. While there will always be an important role for traditional contracting and grant making in USAID's work, we can accelerate and amplify our efforts and outcomes by increasingly applying market-based solutions to the development challenges we aim to address. The blended finance approach offers USAID an effective tool to empower women to reach their full economic potential and to create more self-reliant communities. For investors, blended finance can shift the balance between risk and return in frontier and emerging markets, opening up new opportunities for investment. For donors of foreign assistance, it can close gaps in development financing and ease some of the toughest global challenges that we face. Used properly, blended finance channels private capital into areas where it can have a positive impact while generating solid returns. It develops markets and builds local commitment and capacity to plan, finance, and implement solutions to their own development challenges. USAID's investment in the Blended Finance Fund is in alignment with the mission of the Women's Global Development and Prosperity Initiative. We like to call that Women's GDP, which is a US government-wide effort to economically empower 50 million women in the developing world by 2025. This initiative established a $50 million fund at USAID to finance innovative and effective programs that advance women's economic empowerment. By investing in women, USAID is enabling countries to, pro to progress beyond assistance by unlocking human potential on a transformational scale. We're pleased to work with our partner, OPIC, to overcome the barriers to the full and equal inclusion of women in the formal economy. So thank you all so much for being here today to be here for our launch. Um, now we're going to open it up to questions. So if you have some questions, you can speak into the mic here in the middle. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Vince Chadwick. I'm a reporter with DevX based in Brussels. Uh, I'd just like to know, I mean, in the press release just now, it says it's a first of its kind initiative, but just a bit more information about what's really new here for, as you see it. And with the technical assistance, um, $100,000 doesn't seem particularly like a lot. I'd like to know um, why in particular you'd like to target that at the digital aspects you mentioned. Thanks. So it's a great question. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll go directly to the first of a kind initiative. Uh, it's something that is a preview 
to how USAID will be working with OPIC when the two combine forces on October 1st to launch the US International Development Finance Corporation, which is going to be a new version of our DFI, is how they're a development finance institution. So uh, it's a first of a kind in that, uh, in that sense, but it's also the first time that USAID has focused on this blended finance in such a public forum. We've done little bits and pieces here and there that has been much more ad hoc, but the idea behind getting behind blended finance as a way to allow more women in particular to enter the business space, it has been, we find, a critical step toward getting more and more women to launch their own businesses. And there couldn't be a better place to launch something like that than at GES this year. So we're delighted on that end. $100,000 in technical assistance is a start, right? Normally, if you are from DevEx, you know that normally our projects and programs have an additional zero or two at the end of them. So the idea behind our engagement here with Women's World Banking is to serve as a catalyst. And that's what blended finance does. It provides the initial seed capital that allows other investors to come to the table with more zeros at the end of their engagements. The idea behind this next fund is to raise $100 million, and USAID will not take any return from the, it will not take any income from the returns that are generated from this second fund. All of that will be reinvested into the fund. So the $100,000 in technical assistance is to get it up and running off the ground to help explain to people how they too can take advantage of the investments that are being made into their businesses. And from there we see where it goes. Just to follow up question mm -hmm. maybe about which other investors uh, you're thinking of who could kind of jump on board this initiative and if you've got any names already you could Sure. So it's not our fund, uh, it's the Women's World Banking Fund, and I think that we're not at liberty to talk about who their investors are. Um, thank you, and thank you for your questions. Um, we have the press release here out at the desk if you're interested, and, um, and we are having another uh, press conference here tomorrow at, um, at 2 o'clock. Um, this is going to be to talk about a new initiative that is going to be bridging the gender digital divide and promoting women's economic empowerment. Um, and um, administrator, Deputy Administrator Glick will be hosting that. Um, so thank you to both of you. Um, and um, and thank and we look, thank you for the part to the participants for coming. Thank you. Thank you.